the whole sequence of events, as it turns out, was uh, prompted by construction. The, the boards of University of Denver and uh, the Colorado William, or, uh, Women's College uh, had been negotiating about the transfer of assets from Colorado Women's College that had run into the serious financial problems to the University of Denver. Ultimately, it, it led to debt, which was another problem. The uh, university had uh, indebtedness of about $40 million, of which $30 million was due in December of the year I was appointed. It was a consensus. There was a consensus in that group that this was the best approach to take. That's and uh, that was then put in the form of a document. We identified about six units that we were just simply going to have to separate from the university. Oh my. And uh, this, of course, involved faculty and staff. Sure. Um, the uh, a very, very difficult thing. It took a couple of years, uh -huh. uh, but in fairly short order, we had, at the time, believe it or not, the university's first million dollar gift My from goodness. a single individual. Uh, Leo Block, who's a great alumnus of ours, somewhere around 100 people in this community had an active part in forming uh, the, the things, you know, the decisions we made and the procedures we went through. And I saw a re-emergence of a genuine caring about the undergraduate that I think had Important. slipped 